Okay, so let's have this topic, the derivative of trigonometric functions. So these are the derivatives of six trigonometric functions. So for sine u, it's cosine u times the derivative of u. For cosine u, that's negative sine u times the derivative of u. For tangent u, that's second squared u times the derivative of u. Then for cotangent u, that's negative cosecant squared u times the derivative of u. For second u, it's second u times tangent u times the derivative of u. For cosecant u, it's negative cosecant u times cotangent u times the derivative of u. So these are the derivatives of six trigonometric functions. So we have this given, so find the derivative. So we have y equals sine 5x. Since the derivative of sine u is equal to cosine u times the derivative of u. So this given, u is equal to 5x. So y prime now is equal to cosine 5x times the derivative of u or the derivative of 5x and that's 5. So y prime is equal to 5 cosine 5x. Then for this given, so y equals cosine 2x. Now since the derivative of cosine is negative sine u, so we have now y prime is equal to negative sine 2x because u is equal to 2x. Then times the derivative of u or the derivative of 2x and that's 2. So y prime now is equal to negative 2 times sine 2x. Then on this given, so tangent 3x squared minus 5. Since the derivative of tangent is second squared u times the derivative of u. So our u is 3x squared minus 5. Then to get the derivative, so the derivative of 3x squared, this one is 6x. And the derivative of 5 is 0. So u prime is 6x. So y prime now, we have second squared u. That's second squared 3x squared minus 5 times the derivative of u. And that's equal to 6x. So y prime now is equal to 6x times second squared 3x squared minus 5. Then for this given, so y equals tangent 3x minus cotangent 6x. Since the derivative of tangent is second squared u, and for cotangent, that's negative cosecant squared u. So y prime now, for tangent, that's second squared 3x times the derivative of u, that's 3. Then minus cotangent, that's negative cosecant squared 6x times the derivative of u or the derivative of 6x, that's 6. So y prime now is equal to 3 second squared 3x, then negative times negative, that's positive, 6 cosecant squared 6x. Then for this given, so the derivative of second is second u times tangent u times the derivative of u. So on this given, u is equal to 3x minus 1. And to get the derivative, so the derivative of 3x, that's 3. Then for 1, that's 0. So y prime now equals second u tangent u, or second 3x minus 1 times tangent 3x minus 1, times the derivative of u, and that's equal to 3. So y prime is 3, then second 3x minus 1, times tangent 3x minus 1. Then for this given, so since the derivative of cosecant is negative cosecant u times cotangent u times the derivative of u. So u equals 1 plus sine x, then to get the derivative, since the derivative of 1 is 0, and for derivative of sine, that's cosine. So y prime now, we have negative cosecant u times cotangent u. So negative cosecant 1 plus sine x times cotangent 1 plus sine x because u is equal to 1 
plus sine x times the derivative of u, and that's cosine x. So y prime is equal to negative cosine x times cosecant 1 plus sine x times cotangent 1 plus sine x. Then for this given, y equals x squared times sine 3x. So we're going to use the product rule. So for product rule, this is u and this is v. So u is x squared. Then the derivative of u or the derivative of x squared, that's 2x. Then v is sine 3x. Then the derivative of v or the derivative of sine x, that's cosine 3x times the derivative of u, that's 3. So v prime, that's 3, cosine 3x. Then using this uh, product rule formula, so y prime equals v. So v is sine 3x times u prime, that's 2x. Then plus u, that's x squared times v prime, that's 3, cosine 3x. Then simplify, so y prime is equal to 2x sine 3x plus multiply x squared and 3, that's 3x squared times cosine 3x. So this is now the derivative. Then for this given, so we're going to use the quotient rule. This one is u, then over v. So u is cosine x, then the derivative of cosine x, it's negative sine x. Then v is 2x, then the derivative of 2x, that's 2. So using this formula, the quotient rule, so y prime equals v, v is 2x, times u prime, that's negative sine x, then minus u, that's cosine x, times b prime, that's 2, then over this v squared, that's 2x squared. Then simplify, so y prime now, so multiply, that's negative 2x times sine x, then we have negative 2 cosine x over this 4x squared. Then observe the numerical coefficient, it's divisible by 2. So divide by 2 every term, this one divide by 2, that's negative x sine x. Divide by 2, that's negative cosine x, and divide by 2, that's 2, x squared. So this is now the derivative. Then for this given, y equals sine to the power 3, 2x. Since we can write this equation as sine 2x to the power 3, so using this general power rule, so u, that's sine 2x, then the derivative of u, it's cosine 2x times the derivative of 2x, that's 2. So u prime is 2 cosine 2x. So again, using this general power rule, so y prime equals n, n is the exponent, that's 3. Then u to the power n minus 1, so we have sine 2x to the power 2. So minus 1 for the exponent, times the derivative of u. And that's 2 cosine 2x. Then simplify. So multiply 3 to 2 cosine 2x. So y prime is equal to 6 cosine 2x times rewrite this sine 2x to the power 2 on this form. So that's sine to the power 2, 2x. So this is now the derivative. Then for this given, so y equals tangent cosine 2x to the power 3. Now, since the derivative of tangent is second squared u, and on this given, u is equal to cosine 2x to the power 3. Since the derivative of cosine is negative sine, times the derivative of u, that's 2x to the power 3, it's 6x squared using the power rule. So u prime now is equal to negative 6x squared times sine 2x to the power 3. So solve now we have y prime, so second squared u, or second squared cosine 2x to the power 3, times the derivative of u, that's negative 6x squared, then sine 2x to the power 3. So y prime now is equal to negative 6x squared, 
times sine 2x to the power 3 times second squared cosine 2x to the power 3. So this is now the derivative.